I totally forgot to mention this when I was initially recording this video, so this part's being added in afterwards, but I have an extra beta code for anybody who wants to play the final session. The final session's time is on screen right now, so if you're going to be available during that time and you don't have a beta code right now for PlayStation 4, let me know in the comment section below. I'm not going to say that you have to like the video or anything like that, because I can't tell if you like the video or not. I can't tell if you're subscribed or not. I would appreciate it if you like the video and you subscribe, um, but I'm going to just give a code to someone in the comment section who's looking for one for the final session. There's no formal way to enter this or anything like that. I'm just going to pick someone in the comment section who's looking for a code. Based on the three sessions of Jump Force we've had so far, we have managed to gather a reasonable amount of information about creator characters or avatars. I'm probably going to try to refer to them as avatars for the rest of this video because that's what they're actually called in the game. What we know is that we're going to be able to customize both their special moves and their outfits. This is not a lot of information to go off of. However, we can infer a little bit of information by looking at their movesets. If you didn't realize, all of the avatars have exactly Goku's normal attacks. This includes their grab as well, which it seems a little bit odd that they wouldn't have their own unique moveset and instead just go ahead and copy Goku's moveset, especially those tied to the Naruto faction or One Piece faction. It doesn't make any sense that they would have Goku's moveset. One piece of information we could take away from this is that avatars will be able to use other characters' normal attacks. You'll go into a menu and your options will be all the special moves and then your normal base attacks, which you will then choose which character you want to base them off of. This was originally what I thought, but then I noticed that the avatars share another thing in common with Goku, and that being that all of the avatars use Spirit Bomb, which is obviously Goku's super. So my current theory is that at launch, the customizable options you'll have for your avatar's moveset are the four special moves, including your super. And based on the super you pick and which character it was defaultly assigned to, you'll have that character's normal attacks, heavy attacks, and of course, grab. We don't know if every character's moves will be selectable for create a character, but this current theory of mine seems to suggest that they will. There's also leads me to believe that we won't have any additional moves that are exclusive to CACs or avatars or creator characters, whatever you want to call them. For example, if Gara is not in the game, I don't think you should expect creator characters or avatars to have moves that Gara would use, even though that would be a really cool reference. I think 100% of the customizable moves that you'll be able to use on your avatar or creator character will already be in the game through other playable characters. One last thing I'll mention is awakenings. Currently, avatars or creator characters do not have an awakening. It's possible that this will change before launch, but I certainly don't think you'll be able to select a custom awakening. For example, I don't think you'll be able to switch to QB Sage Beast Mode or Super Saiyan. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if CSEs didn't have an awakening at all. Mainly because if we assume that we're right about all of the customization options with their moveset, like what we've talked about so far in this video, then CACs would objectively be the best character in the game because you can have the best of both worlds or the best of multiple worlds, depending on which moves you select. So I don't mind them being limited by not having an awakening and as far as flavor goes I don't think we're missing out on much by not having an awakening because it's not like we would be able to go to Super Saiyan or QB Sage Beast mode it would just be some type of weird aura effect letting you know that hey this guy's in an awakening I'm seriously excited about Jump Force's avatar and creator character system I cannot wait to see them reveal more information but this is currently how I think it's going to work you're going to open up a menu in the game you're going to customize them visually based on their appearance and then you're going to be able to select their special moves special Special 1, Special 2, Special 3, and Special 4. And Special 4 will obviously be the ultimate, and whoever originally had that ultimate, you'll also copy their basic attacks, heavy attacks, and grab. Let me know what you think of my theory so far. My name has been Bilbsy. If you enjoyed this video at all, I really appreciate you subscribing and leaving a like on the video. It really does help me out. I'll see you in the next video.